Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Six Ashes. We are down here at the shop today at the New Holland shop down in Six Ashes uh, because we have got the money to buy what we couldn't buy last time. So into the shop here uh, and it's under trucks and I really, really wish we had a right hand drive version of this. This is an Iveco uh, 9048. We're going to get it in a blue. Um, we are also going to get the full loading configuration that takes 30,000 litres. Uh, and the only other thing I want to get is with the sun visor. Otherwise, I think that's pretty good. I was considering getting it with a different set of decals, but they do add, well, they do take us just over the uh, cost. And yeah. The only other one I would consider is that, but uh, I, I think I'm just going to save the 300 and uh, and get it like this. So we want to buy that. Yes. Okay. And this is going to be used today for selling our carrots. Now, somebody pointed something interesting out. We only had four loads of the onions last time. Uh, and amazingly... We had about 15 off the field, so I don't know what happened. Uh, we're going to keep a close eye on this today and see if our, uh, the same thing happens with our carrots, which we're going to be loading up in a very similar way. Uh, but uh, this should mean it takes us fewer trips to do this because this is faster than our tractor and this is also larger than the trailer. And so as we did with the onions last time, we're going to set up the conveyor belts uh, to pick them up, uh, fill up this and, uh, and take them down for sale. The sounds on this truck are absolutely fantastic. I love how this thing sounds. Just an absolutely brilliant piece of work. I think I try to remember who this mod is by. Might tell us in here with the setup we've got. Uh, let's have a look. Who is this by? This is, yeah, uh, uh, Pepe978 has done a fantastic job. I know he's released several uh, for Farming Simulator. Uh, seven, oh, 19, sorry. Uh, different, uh, yeah, different Ivaco trucks. Right, let's fold this in, start the engine. And then we need to pull... The extension in here. And we're going to just put it out of... But we might put it back out of this door, actually. See if we can get a good distance on it. Like so. And then get the other one in the space. We've got a few bits of onions left, but nothing that accounts for lots of missing trailer loads, unfortunately. So we're going to see how many trailer loads we get off here. And there we go. And then reverse that in. Get it up on the pile. And start. And then we're going to do the same with this. Get this into position here. Like so. And then lift this up. Yeah. Extend it out and down. And that should do the trick, hopefully. I'm going to connect these two up because that will help it along. And then this shouldn't take too long to get this filled up. And we'll see how quickly and how much we end up with. I'm hoping it's going to be a decent amount. I'm hoping that, like the onions, we're not going to lose lots. Uh, unlike the onions, we're not going to lose lots of these carrots. We're up to 90% full and uh, looking pretty good. We're... Yeah, I think we've probably got about 90,000 litres of carrots in here. Maybe a little bit over. So three or four runs of this, uh, which will be great. So where is the best place for us to sell our carrots today? 
that is gonna be down this way so uh sprouts farmers market is fairly good no uh great demand for it unfortunately uh but should be pretty good so that is up the top end there and as i said the nice thing is that this truck apart from sounding gorgeous goes nice and quick as well so uh yeah we should get this job done in fairly good time as a result considering the distance we had to take the onions last time this would have been really really useful to have had this truck and uh, it's such a pity we didn't quite manage to get enough money together to buy it uh before we started selling the carrots now it's quite twisty here if you miss that first turning but oh no i think we can go in there can't we yeah we can go in there bring this round and this is quite a good truck uh saying before i really like how uh versatile this truck is as well for stacking bales and carrying bales about we've got a, you can switch the back of it to a bale trailer uh which will be quite useful there we go and get myself into there tip it and we should make a very decent amount of cash off this now uh how much is it gonna make uh let's find out and so our total take from 30,000 litres of carrots is 8,251. What is the current value of carrots? 275 is the current value of carrots. So, uh, yeah, we're not even... We're just above a quarter or, or yeah... Per thousand liters, we're getting 275. So not a huge amount of money. And this is the trouble with all the root crops in Farm Sim, is you get a lot of them, but they sell for less. Uh, now, how does that compare with the best price we can get for carrots? That's actually pretty spot on. Um, today is the best price we can get. The most we could hope for is to get a... Uh, huge demand or a great demand for them uh, but at the moment doesn't look like that's going to happen so uh yeah several trips back and forth and hopefully we can uh, earn a decent amount of cash from this loading up the third load now we are at a hundred percent there we go that's full before i go there though i want to check how much have we got left so we've probably got looking at this a uh, good three more loads after this we made uh, a good amount of money off the last one uh, and uh, yeah so this will be this will be 90,000 liters at this point um, which is a lot um did i i'm i'm just wondering if i didn't quite have as many loads of the onions as i thought i might have and uh and yeah that we got uh that we did get this many off this we are, we're heading to 10 12 loads off here so that would make sense uh for what we had off the carrot field uh, whereas the onion field was much smaller uh, but did have a good section to it so we'll see i think um but yeah we're, we're heading for about 12 loads worth of carrots off this field uh, which is going to equate to about six of these journeys to get it sold on my way back to get the sixth and final load i think of carrots uh we've made a good amount so far we are at forty nine thousand four hundred and twenty three. uh this truck has been really good twice the amount uh over twice the speed and it is just been an absolute dream to get stuff sold by this added to this if you really wanted to you can use this on the field with the harvester as well there is a uh, well you can set it to be half the size of this so a 15,000 litre uh, capacity and uh, and use that to get this off i've had to move actually my um 
my conveyors into the shed as uh, as the pile has retreated i'm also intrigued to see if this rear wheel touches down when it's full i've not noticed it the first couple of times but here we might have better luck there we go um, but yeah, this has got a, a raised rear wheel on here uh, that just sort of does uh, doesn't do anything. It, 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 there are bits where it catches it, so I don't know if there's any way to lower it or anything on here. But it's, it's um, yeah, as it should it should add extra stability as this gets more full. You can see we're down to uh, this pile here. And there's a little bit right up to the back here. But I don't think it's more than about 30,000 litres left on here. So six, six full loads. That is um, uh, that is 12 full loads off the field. Let's see if we can also adjust this. So I want to move that. So that is then picking up the pile off the ground. And here's my problem. This has now picked up a load of snow. So I want you to clear off the snow, please. There we go. And then uh, turn that off. Unload that. We'll put a small pile of snow on the ground in the shed. But that will at least clear it off. And then stop that. And we'll have to get this to load up here like so. Oh, that pile of snow is now right in the wrong place for me. There we go. Just about. What I can do, actually, is just lower this a little bit. And that will extend it. And we'll turn this back on. Switch over. So a little bit weird, this. Right. Turn off belt, turn on belt. Right. It doesn't seem to want to get this last bit at the bottom. Fruit type snow. Okay, that's weird. That is thinking that that is snow. And this is where I think we lost onions previously. In that it's grabbing the snow and not the actual crop. And we've got the rear of our truck nicely stuck now. There we go. So, I don't know how I'm going to get the last of these carrots out of here, but certainly this doesn't seem to want to grab it it wants to grab the snow instead looks like that is going to be i mean it does have carrots as a pile there let's take this forwards whoa forwards and unload it unload that by the door because what i'll do is then i'll bring this right in once that's unloaded and we'll see if we can get the other one to pick up carrots before we go any further. So, back. And unload the snow. And this, I think, is the only trouble with doing it at this time of year. Uh, is that it doesn't seem to want to. Is this, I'm not sure. Wait, there we go. No, stop pulling snow. All right, we'll turn that off. Still pulling snow. All right, turn the belt off. And yeah, it's just a case of having a little bit of trouble with this. And we want to just get it to unload. No. I 
See, this is weird. There we go. Okay. And this is why I think we lost some previously. Because we couldn't get it to, to select the right bit. So I'm going to try and get this realigned a little bit and see if we can actually get the last of these carrots up. Okay, I think I've got this now to pick up the remains of the carrots. So we're going to just maneuver this under here. And if it keeps pulling the remains of these carrots in, that'd be great. But it's being very picky about it. And you can see here now, it's just filling up with snow. It's picking the snow up from somewhere outside. And just, yeah, causing all sorts of issues. But there's not much left in here. So this is our final load. It is 42% full. And we're going to go and take this. See where we end up with. I think we're going to end up with uh, about 51, 52,000. Not bad. Uh, and we'll have a look at how much we've made in the carrots in total uh, once we drop this off as well. So we're down at the sell point for the final time today. There. Oh, no. Let's see if we can avoid the corner of the shed. There we go. Bring it round. And tip it up. Like so. So yeah, not a huge amount left. This will go in here fairly nicely. Tumble of carrots coming out. And it's gonna be, oh, we're gonna go over the 52,000, which is brilliant. We might even make 53, 53,230. A uh, really good amount then on the carrots today, as it looks like our harvest income uh, is 44,763. About evens up, which was what I, difference I'd have expected with the, uh, with, with our onions. But neither of our onions or our carrots have made that much money compared to uh the canola uh which is really surprising especially as that happened at a slightly lesser amount uh so yeah uh this year our carrots have not quite been as profitable maybe that has something to do with the fact that we stored them and then reloaded them uh maybe it could be because we didn't get a great demand on them this year however uh, that is how we're done. We're at 53,230, which is really good. And we've got a nice new truck. And this is where we're going to leave it here for today. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.